Not even the only Kansas City doctor telling us that. It's a scary thought. Go get help if you need it. And we see you, Kansas City, doing what you can to help others during the pandemic. This morning, we're highlighting an art therapy program designed to help adults with their mental health. Yeah, since they can't meet physically, 41 Action News reporter Ray Daniel is live outside Swopel to show us how the class is adapted to give their clients what they need. Uh, everything is a little bit more challenging virtually, Ray. I can't imagine trying to teach and conduct art art therapy virtually. How is this done? Hey, she makes it work, this teacher, Taylor. You know, this program serves clients who have severe and persistent mental illness. This program has been going on for two years now, and I just want to show you what you will see when you walk into Swope Health. This is some of their artwork now. Clients work on a variety of techniques such as drawing and three-dimensional projects. Program leaders say this new way of keeping the class going allows their clients to continue that daily social activity in their homes. Some of the people we serve don't fully grasp what the situation is and if I want to leave, what's keeping me here. And so this is something to kind of keep occupied time so I'm not bored and thinking, oh, I'll venture out. So this is the teacher, Miss Carolyn. She's making uh, art projects that clients can follow on Zoom. This is her third week teaching, but she's been teaching this program since it started two years ago. She says she loves seeing her clients' growth throughout this process. They smile, you know, and go, okay, okay, I'm better than I was, you know. So, and of course, anytime you're doing something for somebody, you know, there's that feeling that you get back that you're doing something worthwhile. So they have an Amazon wish list because Miss Carolyn goes out and actually gives these supplies to each of her clients so they don't have to go out and buy them. Lindsay Taylor. I love that. I got to believe Miss Carolyn is a big part of that, too. Yeah. She seems pretty great. <laughs> So, Ray, I have to think that art for any of us would be really cathartic right now. You gave this art project to try yourself, right? How'd it go? I did, I did. So, basically, how this art project works, Lindsay, is that there is actually two pictures, but it looks just like one. So, this is an example. This is Mr. Taylor Hemnes that we have right here. You know, he looks kind of sad, you know, a little upset because he's one of the very few people still in the station. But if you open it up, Look at that excitement. You got fireworks going, a whole bunch of people. Uh, our executive producer handing him a cupcake, a funfetti one, because cupcake. there's so many people there. Yeah. So, yes, there you go, from sad to happy. We're, we're waiting, Marty. We miss you, Taylor. We miss all of you all uh, there. I'm, right now, I'm so sad that Lindsay can't see what I Ray know. is, because that's, that's an actual representation of how wide my mouth opens, I think. And so, that's, that's pretty good. Ray Daniel showing off her I'm artwork trying. there. I'm glad it made you feel better. It made us all feel better. Let's I'm get to Lindsay Anderson really quickly. Oh, man. Ray, that, I need to tweet that for oh, me. Oh, yes, tweet Ray it. needs to tweet, tweet it. Tweet it, absolutely. Yeah. Taylor, a good thing you talk for a living, right? That's right. <laughs> yeah. All right, 64 degrees at high temperature today.